they want us to solve this system by graphing. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph each line and we're going to see where they intersect. And hopefully we'll do a good enough job graphing them that we can see exactly what the solution is by the intersection point. All right. The best way to graph these lines when they're in slope intercept form is to first graph the y intercept. That's your y intercept. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There it is right there. There's my y intercept. And my slope is right here. Rise over run. If I go up 1, I would go, go up 1, I'd go over 2. So there's my next point. All you need is two points to graph a line. And so my line, let's see if I can draw this nicely. Actually, let me draw another point just to, so I have it easier for me to see. If I go down one and I go over left two, I'll also get back to that point. Or if I go down two and left four, I'll get back to that line that I'm supposed to be on. So all of these points right here are on the same line, and that line is my red line. Now you could, your teachers might ask you to put a t-chart in there, a little xy action. You could do that too. 0, comma, 7, 1. Notice I went right, or if I went, sorry, if I go up 1, in other words I'm at 8, I go over 2, I'm at 2, so 2, comma, 8 would be a point and you could find some other points. I could if I plug one in. Now if I plug one in, I'm gonna have a fraction that I have to deal with. But that's okay if we're not afraid of fractions. If I plug one in for X here, I'm gonna get seven point five. Not a big deal. Look at there it is right there. Seven point five. Let me erase this so you can see it better. See that cute little spot right there? That's seven point five right there. That is seven point five. That's one. That's 7.5 up there. All right, let's do the green line. Same thing. The y-intercept is 3. 1, 2, 3. That's where I'm going to start, and I'm going to use this slope, which is my road map, to the next point. 3 is the rise, so if I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, I go over 2, 1, 2, I'm going to get back to another point. Heck, you can just label the points that way. Watch, I'm going to do it like that. 0, 3. That's my y-intercept. Now I went, what's this next point that I just found? 2, comma, 3 up from there is 6. 2, comma, 6. Do you see what I mean? Now let's see what happens when I, when I connect these two with a nice green line. Let's see if I can make it work right. That's pretty close to being right. Now the problem with this, of course, is they probably were supposed to intersect right there. Let me erase that. They were probably supposed to both intersect right here. But if you draw the lines just a little bit wrong, it's not going to look right. But I'm going to guess that the intersection point is that point right there, which is, let's follow this down. That's 4, comma, what is that, 7, 8, 9, 4, 9? Is that 4, comma, 9? I'm going to guess that that's the intersection point. And let's see if 4, 9 works. Let's plug in 4 for x. What's half of 4? 2 plus 7 is 9. So it works in that equation. Now let's plug it into the other equation. 4. Half of 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9. 4, 9 is the intersection point.